Grew up without a father, thank God for my mother, thank God for my brother, be with my sister but love her. We are not like others, emotions is undercover, this conflict won't even let us speak to each other. Can't call them for nothing, but I know I can trust them, and if they needed something, you know that I'm still coming. No, I don't need for nothing, hope that you can feel the loving. Without y'all, I'm nothing, cause I feel like I have nothing, but even sometimes y'all make me feel like I'm nothing. It takes time to better yourself, so why rush it? It's my life, can I live it without you trying to buff it? If I fall on my face, I just need you there to rub it. You can say I'm stubborn, hard-headed misfit. I am not a victim, I am not innocent. I can convict myself before I even reach my sentencing. Live inside of bars in this world that we living in. Mama always had my back, she always sees the best of things. Told her when I get rich, she's gonna get everything. You deserve everything, MVP, you deserve the ring. You deserve everything, MVP, you deserve the ring. MVP, you deserve everything. MVP, you deserve everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This your boy, Doe, from the LTA. Let's talk about it. Today was the conviction of former cop, Kimberly Potter. She got convicted for the shooting death of Dante Wright, which happened April 11th of 2021. They convicted her of first degree and second degree manslaughter. Now what happened was um, Dante Wright got pulled over for a traffic violation of having a, for having a, uh, a instant uh, uh, air freshener hanging off his rear view mirror. And they say, you know, some suspicious acts is what they say, you know, I'm gonna play the verdict, um, not the verdict, but the, yeah, the verdict, I'm gonna play the verdict in a second, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about cop killings. Um, they, I got, I did a little, little research, and they say since 1973 to 2021, it's only been 30 cop convictions. Just this year alone, December of 2020 to December of 2021, it's been reported of like 902 cop killings. So within this past year, 902 people um, been reported, you know, killed by the cops. Conviction-wise, there's only been 30 convictions since 1973 to 2021. So 30 convictions, and how many years is that? You got 83, 93, 2003, 2013. And 2023, so that's 48, 48 years. In 48 years, there's only been 30 convictions. But just in the last year, we had 900 killings. Just in the past year. Just imagine what the number is since 73. How many murders has been, killings has been since 73 to now, cop related. And we only got 30 convictions. That's crazy. The, the spike seemed to happen since the 2000s, the spike, you know, like where it was just the, where it was the most. In a consistent time, too, it seems since the 2000s. Really, let me see, we got 2017, it was 223 blacks killed in 2017. Uh, 2018, we got 209 blacks killed, 209 in 2018. 2019, we got 235 killed. 2020, we got 241 killed, 241 killed in 2020. And so far, you know, we still got a few weeks left, but 2021, we got 113. So this year, this year seemed like it dropped off, but this is the kicker. Check this out. So they got whites, blacks, Hispanics, others, and unknown. So in 2021, it was 113 blacks so far. In unknown, it was 448. Now why that? Now why that is? Why the reason why that's a big deal is because let's go to the unknown race since 2017. 2017, unknown. 
you had 84. 2018, you had 204. 2019, you had 202. 2020, you have 126. In 2021 so far, you got 448 unknown murders. So it jumped from 84 murders in 2017 for unknown to 448 in 2021. <laughs> that's, that's damn near 400. That's like a 400 gap. 400, uh, 400 killers gap. You know what I mean? 400 murders more or killers more. Because, yeah, that's crazy. 448 compared to 84. And the lowest one since 80, you know, since the 84 mark, the lowest one was 126 in 2020. 2020 had 126 unknown. So just from last year, 2020 was 126 unknown to this year, 2021, 448. That's like 300 and something murders, and these people are unknown. So who's who's to say what color they are? You know, you know what I'm thinking. They try to take away some of some some of the black killers by cops and put them with the unknown. Now I say that like. I don't want more blacks to be killed by the cops, but come on, we went to, we, we've been at 200 and something, 200 and something, 200 and something, 240 to 113, you know, dropped off like that, but the unknown is super high compared to all the other years. That's some weird shit. But let's talk about the age range. So you're more likely to get killed by the cop if you're a male and, you know, if you're a black male, for the most part, and then Hispanics is under the blacks, as far as males go. And from the age, the three groups are the age 20 to 24, 30 to 34, and 40 to 44. So you have a gap, obviously, from 25 to 30, and then 35 to 40. I wonder why that is. Why is that gap like that? Ages 20 to 24. 30 to 34, 40 to 44. So what they do with all the numbers in between? That's interesting. I'm going to have to figure that out. So, in the last, we got, in the last 10 um, cops, in the last 10 cops that have been convicted for a homicide, Minnesota has the last three. We have, we have three out of the last 10. We got the last two with the Kimberly Potter that just killed um, that just got convicted for killing Dante Wright, and then we have um, what's the cat name from last year that killed George Floyd? Uh, let me see, let me see what's his name. Derek, Derek Show, um, Derek Chauvis. So we got in the last ten convicted cops, we got three of them, and then in, in the last two that got convicted, Minnesota has the you know the last two. So. I don't know, I tell my kids, when it comes to cops, when I was growing up, we used to, you know, we used to have our run-ins with the cops, and we was able to fight, and, you know, whatever, and go home safe. They'd just rough you up a little bit, or take you to the enemy neighborhood and let you out, just like in the movies. You know, they used to do stuff like that. And now, they're shooting you. They're killing your dad now. So I tell my kids, man, listen, the cops run up on you, Give them your proper ID or whatever you need to do. Tell them your name. Don't be all. The, don't be trying to get into a yelling contest with them and all that crazy shit. Because at the end of the day, you won't win. We have to let you. You do all the right steps, and if it goes left, at least you did the right steps, and we could fight it in court. You know what I mean? Or if um, God, you know, God be, um, you know, God forbid, and something super go left. I mean, you did your part at least. At least it can't be. At least it won't be said. Oh, well, if he only, you know, like in this Dante Wright situation, rest, rest in peace of Dante Wright in his situation, everybody would say, well, if he didn't try to jump in the car and flee, he went to got shot. You shouldn't have to get shot for no reason, no matter what you do. In the United States, our Constitution reads, if I do something wrong, I have the right to go to jail and get, and get tried in front of a judge and jury of the so-called peers. You feel me? The cops' his job is not to play judge, executioner, and police all in one. 
you're supposed to have your day in court no matter what you do. If you spit on a cop or whatever, you're supposed to have your day in court. Obviously, they're not living by those rules. You know, they're not they're not doing that. So you got to take it upon yourself to be safe and do what you got to do to make it home. Or if you do have to go to jail, you know, at least you safe going to jail. You will get your bond or, or they'll let you out on your own and we'll fight it from the streets. Don't go play tough with these cops and be trying to have a yelling contest with them and talking about your rights and all that. Yeah, you can, t you can say your rights, but don't, you know, let's... Let them do what they do, and we'll go from there. Your whole, your whole goal is to make your home safe at the end of the day, even if you have to go get booked in and get bailed out. We, we, got, the, we got the bail money, you know what I'm saying? So don't be out here fucking with these trigger happy ass cops and give them a reason to say, well, he should have fled, he should have resisted, he should have did this, he should have did that. Now, on the flip side of that, I do say, it's no, it's no justification for the cops killing people, but if you know these people is trigger happy, stop playing with them. Stop playing with them. That's crazy to think that you're going to win that battle. It's not going to, it's not going to turn out right. And even if, let's say, you know, when the cops kill you and you have all these protests and all that's just cool and well and fine and all, but you don't come back from that. You don't come back from the dead. You know what I'm saying? You don't crawl up out the grave. So all that protest and all that's fine. Your family might even get a couple of dollars, but at, at the end of the day, that doesn't that doesn't um it doesn't return your life. Your life is not restored like a damn game of playing, and you can press restart. It doesn't happen. So you know, I just wanted to say that man, stop playing with these people, and do what you gotta do to make it home safe, and just stay out their way all together. Don't be out there fucking up, and you can stay out their way all together. You know what I'm saying? Try to avoid them at all costs. You know what I'm saying? My, you know, do, go about your business and leave them alone. You see them, I, I don't mess with the cops at all. I, shit, I see them, I'm, I'm going this way. Like, I don't even play with them people at all. I don't mess with them. You know, um, I want to play this, um, I'm going to play this, the, the, the verdict, um, the former cop Kimberly Potter verdict for killing um, Dante Wright. Rest in peace to that brother. And also, let me just read out this, read off this list. So we only had 30 convictions since 1973 to 2021. 30 convictions of um, cop-related killings. And just to read a few, this, the sentencing that these people get, well, that's another thing. They're finally starting, well, I guess last year with the Derek Chauvin's cat that killed um, George Floyd, rest in peace to George Floyd. He got 22 years. But usually these people get off, we're going to see what the lady got today. She got convicted of first degree manslaughter and second degree, so we'll see if that whole, I think the max is 40 years for that. Um, yeah, so we'll see. But let's look at ones like, they made a movie about this. Michael B. Jordan played the character, uh, played the young gentleman that died, rest in peace to him. His name was Ox, Oxa Grant. Um, this happened in 2000 and, what was it, 19? Or, let me see. 2009, wasn't it? No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, one second. So if you're not familiar with the, the story of o Oxa Grant, it happened in um, Oakland, I believe, or San Francisco, the Bay Area. Him and his buddies went out for um, New Year's to party a little bit, and they got into a little scuffle. And they got into a little scuffle. The police came, you know, um, handcuffed my man and put him on. The, he laid him down on the ground, on his stomach, and handcuffed him, handcuffed him behind his back. And claimed that he thought that Oxford Grant was reaching for something in handcuffs on his stomach. He, he said he thought he was reaching for something in his waistband, and he, um, you know, pulled his gun out and shot him. Talking about he thought it was a taser, just like. The lady today, Kimberly um, Potter, that got convicted for killing Dante Wright, she said she thought she was reaching for a taser. This guy said the same thing. He thought he was reaching for his taser, and he shot the guy, he shot Oscar Grant while he was laid on his stomach, handcuffed behind his back. If that ain't cold-blooded murder, I don't know what to call it. But look what time is. Look how much time this guy got though. He was sentenced to 14 months and 30 days in prison. 14 months. 14 months for, for, 
for flat out cold blooded murder. You can't win this fight like this. You can't. We can't win like that. Fourteen months for taking a life, flat out, just flat out taking a life too. They, they ain't no damn accident. You thought you was reaching for your. Why is you even reaching for your taser if he's laid on his stomach, handcuffed behind his back? Like, what are you doing? He's handcuffed behind his back, laid on his stomach. You know, cold blooded murder. But you know, he knew he could get away with it. They're just now starting to get convicted, as you can see. What I just say, 48 years, when he got 30 convictions, you know, so yeah, they, they feel they can do what the hell they want to do. That's why you can't play with them. Oakland, California is where it was located exactly. Um, at the Fruitville Station. Like I said, they made a movie about it. Michael B. Jordan played um, Oscar Grant. So yeah, he only got um, the 14 months, and which he only did, if I remember right, he only did 10 months of that. I think he only did like 10 months. Now, Derek Chauvin's on the other hand, uh, for the one that killed George Floyd last year, 2020 in Minnesota, he got 22 years. And I want to say they added a couple extra years for the um, consecutive case. But according to this, it only say 22 years. I think he got more though, but we're going to go with what the record said. Uh, let me read one more person, and then we're going to play the verdict. Uh, who else? It was this one guy, so right here. So this is the murder of Jared Lakey. Jared Lake Lakey. On July 4th, 2019. Oh, well, I ain't going to read the whole thing, but it says Lakey was 28 years old. He was a white man. Taser shots. Too. So they they tasered this they tasered this dude fifty three times. Rest in peace to Jared Lakey. First of all, um, they tasered him. They tasered him fifty three times, causing him to die of cardiac arrest. That's crazy. Instant, yeah, that's crazy. This incident happened July fourth, two thousand and nineteen. Do it say where? Um. Oklahoma, Carter County, Oklahoma, and he got found guilty, conviction of second degree murder, and how much time did he get? He only got, uh, that, that, that doesn't even say, conviction, murder conviction. So it was two officers involved in this case, they both received 10 years in prison. So 10 years, they tased the dude 53 times, what the hell is he? How can you tase someone 53 times? How is that even possible? When you tase a person, you got to take the damn plug out. Or if it hits them and fall, you know, you got to exchange the damn cartridge and shoot again. Or when you do hit them, oh, you could, yeah, you can keep pulling the trigger thing. But I wonder how many times, if, if it's attached, how many times does it, um, you know, how many times can you shoot, I wonder. I'm about to check that out. Because I know they, they can, once they hit you, they can keep shocking you. That's how, okay, that's the only way I can see. So that means it was multiple, he had to get tased by multiple people, and they kept just shooting it. I didn't read the, the detail for detail. But, you know, I just wanted to touch on that. That's crazy. So in, in, in 48 years, we only got 30 convictions. And a couple out of the red for, for how much time they got. You see what they're doing, 14 months, 10 years. The Derek Cat last year, he got the most time that I've seen, you know, as far as just combing through it. He got 22 years. But, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, they literally get away with murder, as you can see. But I do want to play, I do want to play this verdict real quick. I should have hooked the down. I should have hooked the speaker up. I'm sure. So she got found guilty on both charges. And we'll play it real quick. Here we go. We got the, the, the verdict. 
of the case in the former, the former officer Kimberly Potter who shot and killed um, Dante Wright, rest in peace to him. They're finna read the verdict. This was, um, what's today? Thursday, December, what is it, the 22nd? What is it? 23rd. 23rd, December 23rd. Um, Thursday, December 23rd, two days before um, Christmas. I don't call it that, I call it um, uh, fake miss. Two days before fake miss, AKA Christmas. So they called the jury in. You know this stuff takes a little while. So former cop Kimberly Pop Potter is on trial for second degree manslaughter, second first degree manslaughter, second degree manslaughter for the shooting death of Dante Wright. Members of the jury, have you arrived at a verdict? Will the deputy uh, please retrieve the verdict forms and provide it to me for review? This incident happened April 11, 2021. Uh, would Ms. Potter please rise? For routine traffic stop for air freshener on the I'm now going to read mirror. your verdicts as it will as it will appear in the permanent court records of Hennepin County. In the matter of State of Minnesota versus Kimberly Potter, court file number 27 CR 217490, we, the jury on the charge of manslaughter in the first degree while committing a misdemeanor on or about April 11, 2021, in Hennepin County, State of Minnesota, find the defendant guilty. And the verdict was agreed to at the hour of 11.40 a.m. and signed by the jury person on 12.23.21. On uh, the verdict on count two is we, the jury, on the charge of manslaughter in the second degree, culpable negligence on or about April 11, 2021, in Hennepin County, State of Minnesota, find the defendant guilty. And that verdict was agreed to at 10.30 a.m. on 12-21-21. Members of the jury, is this your true and correct verdict? So say you won, and so say you all. Yes. yes. Okay, you may be seated. All right, I am now going to poll the jury. Juror number two, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes. Juror number six, is this your true and correct verdict? Juror number seven, is this your true? Now, the reason now, for those that don't know, the reason why they do that, ask each um, juror, um, is that they correct verdict, because obviously, you know how people could coerce people, or they could get paid, or but the same difference coerce. Um, family members, or just a bully inside the room, is like, if you don't vote the way I'm voting, you know, blah, blah, blah. So they do that just to make sure everybody can say out their mouth that that's what they chose. Now I will say, I'm surprised that she got a guilty verdict, to be honest. Because the way the law is set up, since there was cops around the car, he tried to speed off or, you know, try to get in the car and attempt to speed off or whatever. They, by the letter of law, could say 
he's a threat to the cops. He's a threat if he pulls off, go hit somebody else, and um, you know, and that'd be a justifi that'd be a justifiable reason to shoot him in the the way the system works. So I'm super surprised she got a guilty charge. Um, a lot of people are saying, obviously, she got the guilty charge because they don't want the riots. Now I must say, that definitely could play a factor, no doubt. And that's fucked up in the law if that is the case. Let's say that is the case. Let's say they don't want people to riot, so, you know, we're going to find her guilty. You know, that's messed up. But at the same time, no matter if it's an accident or not, she shot that kid and killed him. So she do got to be punished for that. I hope that what I what I hope this does is 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 just make the cops be more aware of. In society now, they're not. I mean, you know, you can take for what it's worth. It could be a, a overlay for the underlay. It could be a setup for bigger and better things. However, but as this victory stands as of right now, you know, maybe it sends a message to people that say we can't abuse our power. We can't just play judge, jury, and executioner. Because in reality, you work for us and you're supposed to be a peace officer. You're supposed to de-escalate the situation at all costs. You know what I mean? At all costs, you're supposed to de-escalate the situation. You know what I'm saying? But, um, but, but, um, um, it, 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 she got found guilty. You know? So, as of right now, forget the conspiracy theories or the overlay for the other lady. She got justice was served. And that's all that matters at all. That's all that counts. Rest in peace to, you know, Dante Wright. It really should have been a murder case, to be honest, but they can't charge murder because they would have lost the case because you can't prove that she, uh, she intentionally tried to kill him. You can't prove that. So, you know, that is what that is. But let me finish playing a little bit more before we get up out of here. True crime verdict. Juror number 13. This is your true crime verdict. Oh, it's juror, uh, excuse me, juror uh, 11. And juror 17, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes. Juror number 19, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes. Juror number 21, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes. Juror number 22, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes. Juror number 26, is this your true and correct verdict? You're down right, it is. Juror number 40 is your true and correct verdict. Hell yeah. Juror number 48 is this your true and correct verdict? Yes, it is. Yeah. And juror number 55 is this your true and correct verdict? Fuck yeah. Members of the jury, um, when you first came into the courtroom, I told you that jurors are the heroes of our judicial Who system. Is the heroes. Well, the twelve. I never got called for jury um, duty, and hopefully I never will, because I ain't got time for all that, man. That's just, you know, it's too much, man. It's like they they give you rules of how you gotta follow the case, and it's too much, too much. Well, yeah, that's all we wanted to touch on. So, former cop Kimberly Potter got found guilty, first degree and second degree um, manslaughter charge for killing um, Dante Wright. And rest in peace to that brother. And we just got to tell our kids, man, that uh, interactions with the cops keep to a bare minimum. Um, we got to encourage them to become cops. Become um, judges and state attorneys and stuff of that nature get in the system you know if we're scared the way we get police bottom cops we gotta have people that's like us policing them you know we need the cops to live in the neighborhood that they police at least 70 percent of them 60 percent of those cops that 60 70 percent of cops that police that neighborhood that precinct need to live in that that neighborhood you know what I mean? We got to get our kids to be cops and fire 
firefighters and lawyers and judges, all the stuff that really matters that moves the needle. You know what I'm saying? The stuff that really, really matters. You know? The people that really put the work in to, to try to keep the, the community together and stuff of that nature. But we finna get up out of here, man. We just wanted to touch on that. Once again, um, the last two cops that have been convicted, has it, it has happened in Minnesota. The last 10, we had three cops that got convicted. So, you know, we, um, we're we moving in the right direction as far as on the surface. Now, I'm the type that understands the overlay for the underlay. So I'm already, I'm always like, yeah, that's cool, but what about, you know, what about this? But sometimes you got to take it how it comes to get to the next, to the next um, spot. You feel me? So as of right now, this is a, this is a, um, a, a victory for the family, or not a victory because because Dante Wright, rest in peace, can never come back. But this is some kind of closure for that family, you know. And uh, my condolences to the family, and my heart goes out to them. Much love, man. This is LTA. We out of here.